co-founder and CEO of YGK Credit Solutions, consumer credit expert, back here again. 95, no traffic, cruising down to the south. Anyway, while I'm driving, got a topic I want to speak to you guys about. And um, this topic is about credit card utilization. It's actually a two-part topic. I'm going to do the first part now, then the second part I'm going to do another video about. And that part has to do with the post that we did yesterday. What's better, having balance on one credit card or having balance on multiple credit cards? And there's actually a, um, a code written in the credit bureau. I'll give you guys the exact terminology when I shoot that video about um, how you're being penalized, consumer being penalized by the credit system for having multiple balances on credit cards, okay? So we'll talk about that in another video. But today's video is about credit card utilization and about that 70-30 rule. Um, I wanna speak to you guys about that. And the reason why I'm talking about, talk to you guys about this, and we've I've done a previous video about this in 2017-18. Um, I did a video about this, a very in-depth video. I even had a whiteboard, I was writing things out for you guys. So that video is already on our YouTube channel, so when you get a chance, check that video out. Um, but let's get back to this. So a lot of people are talking about, you don't need to have your credit card 30% utilization, 10% um, is better, or forget 30%, anyone that talks about 30%, it's a joke. Well, whatever the nonsense that you're hearing on social media. So, 30% is a threshold, all right? 10% is better, 7% is great. 1% of US customers are the, the client, how do I say it? 1% well, of the population that's a high flyer, high flyer means you're at 800 and higher credit score, has 1% utilization on their credit card, okay? Um, but. I want you guys to understand something. This is not information I'm just sitting here in front of a camera babbling about. This is factual data that I'm giving it to you guys. Um, you could Google FICO, go onto FICO's website, they'll break it down for you. Go to the Experian website, they'll break it down to you. Um, and this is why when we created Score Navigator, point deduction was very, very important and a key component to Score Navigator for consumers, right? Um, that 30% is very, it's very important because the more utilization you have on your credit card, your scores drop, right? Uh, if you go back, if you go to the Experian and Transgene website, you do some research on their website, everyone is given 100% credit. You, me, anyone that just got their social, got their first credit card, everyone is given 100% credit. Your goal is to use 30% and have 70% available at all times. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that, and you, you can even research that on the website, on Experian website, or you can even Google it. It comes up and it tells you why. Do your research, right? Um, but everyone's given us 100%, 30% utilization, 70% available at all times, right? Why? Because let's say you want to purchase a home, and if you have 90% of your credit maxed out, when the mortgage broker or your mortgage loan officer do your calculation and your debt to income off your credit report, you only have 10% credit available. If your mortgage is $3,000, you cannot afford the mortgage payment. Same thing goes for car payments. If your debt to income ratio is high, you're trying to get a car and your utilization is high, and let's say you have 95% credit utilization and you're trying to buy a car, the payments is $700. Once they put those numbers into the calculator system that they have, and this is a system that every bank and finance company have. They're not sitting there making these numbers up and making these calculation up. It's um, algorithms and um, calculations that are done behind the scenes and the parameters that are put into the software to let them know if you can afford this financial transaction you're trying to do or you cannot afford it. So. You know, when people are talking about, oh, you don't need to worry about 30%, 10%, listen, do me a favor, stop talking, go back to your little uh, credit pair software, whatever it is that you're using to fix your credit, and maybe you should educate yourself before you come on social media, run your mouth and blab your mouth about things that people need to know how to maintain their credit. Because all of this stuff is things that are on FICO's website, Experian website, Google it, nerd wallet, Google it. You'll see all of this information in this. I'm not sitting here and just blowing smoke, all right, guys? So anyway, point of my message is that 
you should keep your credit card utilization under 30 percent under 30 percent um 70 percent available if you do happen to max your credit card out one month that's fine it's okay it's okay but you want to make sure you bring that balance on the 30 percent uh, on your statement date not on the due date statement date that's very important so you need to make sure you call your credit card company and ask them when is the statement and when is it due date so you know you have that information as knowledge um i've have i've done another video about statement date and due date as well as well um what is this guy doing All right anyway sorry about that i've done videos about statement dates due dates and um definitely check those video out on our youtube channel so anyway that was my video about the utilization of your credit card 70 30 is the rule and it's plastered on any serious major legitimate financial website right not on instagram or tiktok all right if you have any questions about this video or any of our video drop a comment below i'll try to get back to you and answer it for you um, anyway, have a great day guys. Talk to you soon. I look for the second video about balances on one credit card or multiple credit card. Talk to you soon.